In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to show you how you can take any video of your choice and put it into a scene where you have images, either a computer monitor or a TV screen or even more than one, and make it look like it's playing native on that particular device. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you some tips about doing this. What I'm going to do is take my graphic image of monitors and place it on a high track, in this case, track number four. I'm using a graphic image because it's a simpler way to go. If we were to use a video, the first step is to create masks. And if something moved in front of any of the screens, you would have to continually keyframe the mask to make it look normal. We won't go into the details of that kind of complex thing right now. We're just going to show you some basic principles. So with my base clip highlighted on track four, I'm going to click on the tools button above the timeline and go into my mask designer. Now we're going to use a mask for each of the top three monitors. I'm going to click on the zoom in button at the very top to magnify this because I find that's what makes it easier for me to mask more completely. So I'm going to use a mask by clicking on the Create a Custom Selection Mask button in the left panel, the rightmost button. I click on that. I start out with a red marker for my mask. Then I simply highlight the corners where I want this to be and click back on the first dot and I fill it in. I'd like to soften this just a bit, so I'm going to change Feather Radius to value of 1. I also want to invert the mask and that there is my monitor. Now you can go back and adjust these points if you like to on your mask later. I'm going to click on Add, and then let's do the middle one. Now the middle one's a little bit different, and this is one of those cases where I'm very glad I have a static Im image rather than a live person whose head would move, because if it did, I would have to mask this over and over and over again for every small motion of his head. I can cut into the hair a little bit. That would look better, I think, on my mask than if I did not. So we take that, and now we have the second one. We're going to invert that as well. And we'll add another time, and this is the simplest one. We'll simply have four corners. And I see I missed this one. This is a case where I can very easily edit that, that mask point and I will invert that one. So now I have my mask. That's where we're going to start with. Now, you notice where my playhead is. It's in the middle. I don't want it there. We have to have all our markers for our masks on the very left side. So if you made the same mistake I did, make sure they're on the left side. Then click on OK. All right, now we have our mask. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our videos that will be playing in each monitor. Let's take uh, the beach scene here, drag it down to a lower numbered track. Now it's covering the entire scene. What I want to do first of all is I want to actually mask this. I'm going to right click and I have an option that says enable selected track only. It's off the screen so all I see is this. So I'm going to use that for a moment, and I'll get into my PIP Designer. And it's square and the monitors aren't, so I've got an issue here. First of all, I'm going to dial the opacity back to about 60-70% or so. Click on OK. And now I'm going to go into my Tools Mask Designer on the clip, and I'm going to go to my big square. I'm just going to mask off the center of it. So it's about the size of the monitor. It's kind of like cropping it. I'm cheating to doing it that way. OK, now what I want to do is I'm going to right click and I'll enable all tracks.
And we'll get back into the pip designer a second time. And now we'll shrink it. And we'll put it on this monitor here. Now I need to rotate it because I want it to look like it has the same plane as the screen. And it's hard to rotate it slightly, but that's what the numbers are for on the left side. If we look on the left, we have a rotation. And right now it's 7.89. Let me try something like a 2. Uh, that's pretty good. That looks kind of parallel. So I'll keep it that size and then we'll shrink it. And then we can also skew the sides to be parallel. To do that, I'm going to enlarge this a bit. You click on the little blue square inside the white square and your icon will change. And we're going to make that parallel to the screen. We're going to do the same thing with the upper right, upper left corner as well. And we'll skew this one to make it parallel. That makes it look a little more authentic. Okay, that's the first one. Now I have to make sure when I'm done that I'm going to take my opacity and dial it back to 100%. Click on OK. So now I filled the first monitor with my image. Let's do the third one because that's also at an angle. I'll take this and put this on track number two. Then I'm going to mask it. You won't have to if, if the monitor is the same proportions. I'm just doing that now. We'll use our, our mask here. Click on OK. Now we're going to get into our PIP designer for this particular shot. And again, I'm going to dial back the opacity so I can see more than the image. And we'll shrink it and move it and rotate it. Again, I'm going to have to look at my numbers here. Minus 7, let me try a minus 3. See if that's close enough. And then we can reposition it slightly and then we can skew the angles of it. Let me zoom in again. And let's see, this one looks like I need to take the one here and angle it back this way. We'll move over. We'll take the one over on the upper right. And we'll skew it that way. Dial our opacity back to 100 and click on OK. We won't do the center one. You get the idea. So when we're at the very beginning of our scene here, and he's watching the televisions, Let's see what it looks like. Well, the monitors look almost like that's the native content. And that's our goal in this particular tutorial. I want to thank the subscriber who asked about this and hope this is helpful if you find yourself in a, in a setting where you want to put your own content on any kind of visual screen in your projects. Mm -hmm.